better if you just show her without me sitting in it. What, do you want to film it then? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, you get to see my lovely film technique, so beware. Which one did he change? Oh, okay, you have to show inside here. Okay, he's pushing a button. What does it change? The side supports. Oh, okay. You see these little things right there? They're moving in and out. I don't know if you can see them flaring, but that's all done with one button down there. And then this. That button moves that thing forward, which is mom's favorite thing of the entire car. And you have your regular standard button that moves the seat then, forward. Yeah, the forward seat motion. And then you can make it sit up with the same one. I don't know if you can tell, but it's leaning down. And then he's leaning it back up. And then this moves the top part. That up. moves the top up. And then this part of the balls forward and backwards. And then up makes the headrest go up. All electronic. And then if you press one of the memory buttons, like memory two, that moves everything back as far back as possible so people can get in and out of the car. And that is the seat. And there's Heaven. I know I'm not sure you've seen her. Hello. It's me. That's Heaven. So, and uh, I'll show you some interior stuff my mom wanted me to show you. So. When you get in the car, one of the things you want to do is put your glasses up, of course, but um, you have to put in this badge, like this is the key here, it goes into the slot right here, it just pushes in. This, you can't see it too well, but this says D slash S on it for drive slash sport mode neutral which it has to stay in to park and reverse you have no park so it has to be put in dry or neutral here and then once it's in neutral you can start the car by pushing this button with the breakdown and then testing system ready and see it says neutral on there when you push this lever over this way it goes into drive if you push it again see how it says 1d push it over again it goes to 1 that's sport mode push it back it goes into drive if you push these paddle shifters which are right here for up gear down gear if you push up you can see how it switched and then down to 1 and that's going to make it so that it doesn't go automatic anymore I have to push it so I'll put it back in drive with the e-brake up, it's not going to go anywhere because that's how you park the car. So, you have heated seats here, which do work. Your, your comfort lumbar supports. That's what my mom was talking about where they, when you go around curves, they fold in towards you. You have a P button which will show you the front and rear of the car. Heaven will walk forward. And you'll see how close she is. And then so when she gets close to the car, you can see her popping up on the screen. It protects you from not hitting somebody. So then she'll go around the back of the car as well and you can start to see her. Okay, so that's what P does. And then you have the same buttons over here for heat and everything else. You have your CD, you have dual climate controls, so you pick the temperature you want for passenger and for driver. You have a condensation button and rear button. You have a bunch of buttons in here, really. Um, your lock is here, because it's European. Then you have your menu buttons, your call buttons, and everything else. This knob here controls this system up here. So that's the screen that we start out with. So let's say if I want to go to navigation, I just push over 
and it goes to the navigation. And it has a bunch of settings, address books, 